These days, the Transit badge covers a whole range of vans, from the one-ton Transit Custom that was launched in 2013 to the Transit Courier that reaches UK roads in 2015, the mid-sized Transit Connect, and the subject of this review, the two-ton Transit itself. The statistics make staggering reading. Ford has been the biggest selling van brand in the UK for an unbeaten 50 years, ever since the very first Transit was launched in 1965. One in every four vans sold in the UK is a Transit, and it was the third best-selling Ford model in 2013, beaten only by the Fiesta and Focus. No wonder then that Ford took the launch of the latest Transit so seriously, hosting Europe's motoring press in Barcelona for an entire month. That explains the German-registered left-hand drive vehicles on test and the blue skies. This is actually the sixth full-size Transit, and looks-wise you'd certainly tell what it was even if the Ford badge was missing. It's not exactly attractive, but show me a large van that is, even though it is better looking than some of its rivals. There's a choice of three 2.2-litre Duratorq turbo diesels built in Dagenham in the UK, with power outputs of 99, 123 and 153 horsepower, with all three using a six-speed manual gearbox. It's available in two trim levels, base and trend, in two wheelbases, three body lengths and two roof heights. And as you'd expect from a Transit, you could also have one as a minibus, dropside or chassis cab. In fact, there are something like 450 different variations on the Transit theme, so there should be something for everyone. This jumbo, long wheelbase, high roof model drove well, although we didn't get a chance to try it fully loaded. There's been something like a 6% improvement in fuel economy compared to the previous model, so it's capable of around 36 miles to the gallon, while the Econetic models are even less thirsty, returning around 44 mpg. While we're on the subject of running costs, service intervals are now 30,000 miles or two years, and maintenance times have been reduced. The list of standard equipment is high, and includes an electronic stability system, Bluetooth and a fold-down seat that becomes a desk. The higher spec trend models get voice-activated smartphone systems, and options include a reversing camera and adaptive cruise control. Of course, how it drives and running costs are only part of the story when it comes to a van. What's it like to actually use? Well, Ford has also improved the Transit's practicality, with a new load continuation package as part of the Ford Assistance Scheme that'll actually deliver the van's load should you suffer a breakdown. It's fitted with Ford's Easy Fuel capless fueling system that prevents misfueling, and loading is now even easier than before, thanks to a new low rear step and rear doors that open to either 90 or 180 degrees. Four standard Euro pallets will fit inside. There's been a definite improvement in refinement inside the cab, with a car-like dashboard in front of the driver and lots of storage space. So, the sixth generation Transit drives well, is more fuel efficient, and should cost less to operate than the model it replaces. As a result, the Transit should continue its 50-year domination of the UK van market.